Hey, I've got an idea for some blues chords. Pretty easy, blues and rock and roll. If you lay your ring and index fingers flat at the seventh and fifth frets, you've got your choice of two strings or two sets of three strings. Well, I guess there's three sets of two strings. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of possibilities with very simple fingering. Well, I'm gonna hit uh, four strings. Now I'll hit three. And the other three. How about a group of two strings? The next group. And the next group. It's actually a, quite a few combinations of possibilities with some really simple fingering. And if you put it into some sort of time, like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and and two and three and four and you can take it up here and three and four that's a D back to A E would be 14 and 10, 12. And D, 10 and, and uh, 12 and 10, and A is 7 and 5. So you can kind of suggest 12 bar, you know, chord changes and everything. Uh, here's a little riff. Pretty easy, a seven, five, six, seven. And you can, you can add a bass note there on the sixth string with your thumb. So there's a lot of co a lot of combinations of notes that you can play with in the five and seven hitting groups of two strings, three or four strings. <laughs>